my name is Tula Khan. I have a congenital muscular dystrophy. The congenital muscular dystrophies are a group of very rare disorders that present in infancy and young children. Um, they present with muscle weakness which causes a delay in, in the child achieving the developmental milestones and some children will not achieve all of their motor milestones such as walking for example. Um, these children are often uh, affected with other problems such as uh, problems with swallowing, uh, recurrent chest infections and some children require breathing support at night time uh, to try and uh, prevent infections. Well, it affects every part of my you know, day to day life. It makes me a lot more fatigued. It, you know, I'm not able to do as much as I like. And it just, but other than that, it doesn't try not to let it affect me too much. And just, it's basically the fatigue and the, the muscle weakness that I have to take care of. So the care of these patients is complex um, and is multidisciplinary. It's very important that a child with a congenital muscular dystrophy is seen at a specialist neuromuscular centre where they can uh, receive uh, advice from a specialist neuromuscular physiotherapist, speech and language therapist, respiratory physician, uh, neuromuscular consultant and, and also um, cardiac uh, uh, follow-up. Um, so close monitoring is very important. Some of these children will also have learning difficulties and will need to be followed by the local community paediatric teams where they, their learning and development can be monitored. And even those who do not have learning difficulties are probably best managed with these teams. One of the problems we have with congenital muscular dystrophy, and it is a severe problem for both children and parents, is that they get very, very tight contracted muscles. And as much as you stretch them and splint them, these contractures can be relentless. And so it seems sometimes that you're fighting a losing battle. But it's important to keep going because if you can minimize the effect, then obviously you can improve or maintain function. It's very, very difficult. These are very, very stiff muscles, but we work hard, we do plasters, we do splints, we do stretches, and again, we need to make the stretches as interesting and functional as possible. Young adults with CMD uh, can be quite profoundly uh, physically disabled and have multiple problems. Um, transitioning to adulthood can be a stressful time for that young person and their parents. But it's important uh, for the young person to be given as much independence as they possibly can. Well, the Muscular Dystrophy UK has been hugely supportive in my care and actually helping me on day-to-day -day things, especially the information advocacy and campaigns officer. She's been very instrumental in actually helping me get you know, funding and, and how somebody who understands the condition and really be very supportive in that sense. When you have that kind of support, then I think it's much easier to cope with day-to-day -day challenges. We know that it can be difficult for people to secure the equipment and the financial support that they're entitled to and so we feel that the advocacy service here helps people to understand how to actually fill out forms to help them be put in a better position so that they can eventually secure that, that information. So an alert card is a small card so you can put it in your wallet or your purse. If I had a neuromuscular condition, I would definitely carry an alert card because they, although they're small, they contain a lot of information, particularly about the complications that can occur with muscle and nerve diseases. And because these conditions are rare, if you have to go to hospital for anything, to A&E for example, the doctors might not be aware of your condition and the alert card can um, inform them of uh, important potential complications. The Hub is an online resource for individuals and also health professionals as well to find out what's available locally to them. We have a near you service where people can search for their nearest specialist neuromuscular service. All you need to do is put in your postcode. The neuromuscular 
service is quite useful because it allows me as a patient to actually see what facilities are available in my area. I still do the same for Vermont. So you have to get a referral and actually find funding to go to a level places like a hydrotherapy and places like that. But it's quite useful to actually see what is available in my area, particularly in London and everything is quite broken up and fragmented. So it's really useful to have that kind of service and actually have contact information as well for different hospitals and different centres. What I would say to a newly diagnosed family or a newly diagnosed patient is not to, to give up and to be determined and just to, I think despite the challenges, you just have to keep fighting and keep persevering and I think it's especially to the parents of the urgent at the first opportunity to actually talk to the child and I think that's what my parents did from a very young age. We spoke quite a lot about my disability and my condition and that's what really helped me out and having that support and I think it's a difficult conversation to have, but the earlier you have it, the better it's going to be. As the child gets older, it's really going to allow them just to get on with their life and just to do what they want and just to, you know, just to live their life, really. I try to just to live life to the fullest and just, you know, basically do what I want and go where I want and just, you know, make sure I'm doing, I want to achieve what I want to achieve. So.